Today on Drawbly, Abby is drawing. My first attempt at Allo Prima. <laughs> Click that subscribe button, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> and comment below with ideas of how we can improve as artists. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if you just so happen to be Mario, share some of your art online with the hashtag Drawbly. Yes. So um, tell me, tell, tell them, tell us, tell the world about alla prima, alla prima. which well, I believe is a French word, by the way, <laughs> not Italian. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> In our digital art course that we are taking, we came... Ahmed al Dori. Ahmed al Dori's... Um, meds map. Meds map. Came to the section on Allo Prima, mm -hmm. and I watched it, and this is my attempt to utilize that knowledge. I'm using the references he provided, and he said basically, you know, go crazy, try it and, out. And you mentioned before we even started recording that these two, there's two here, right? Mm -hmm. Did not turn out super great, but that's okay because you're, you're learning and it's your first attempt on it. But if you think that yours did not turn out so great, I also painted the same two portraits oh, doing the same no. assignment, so <laughs> you just wait. <laughs> oh, well. And I have good news for you then, a mindset shift, if you will, because Ooh. when I started this, I knew it was going to be just bizarre because I've never painted like this, where you like put down a big shape and carve into it like I just did there. Mm. And that was a very freeing sort of mindset to have of, this is my first time. I just need to take it easy. Be gentle on myself. I mean, Ahmed al Duri says in the course himself, he says, you do four or five of these, you'll, you know, you'll get a little better. He says, but if you do 40, maybe that's when you start to like actually get like a grip on this thing and start doing a job that you really, really like. So I'm like, oh, well, I'm 40 away from that. So I don't need to, you know, care really how this turns out. I'm still gonna try. I don't even need to try. I mean, this is just <laughs> the first one. I'm still gonna try. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually was pleasantly surprised with how they turned out, um, these two portraits. I think it looks cool right now. Just yeah. like in the early stages. I, I really enjoy getting to see how things come together. Yeah, yeah, me too, me too. It's fun. I've actually gone once or twice onto the forum associated with the digital course we're taking and seen other people's uh, similar like attempts at the same references. Right. It's so cool. There is such a range of skill and expertise, but everybody's excited. Everybody's trying. Everybody's learning something new, and that's really. But really we're fun. like the best, right? We're like no, not even close. <laughs> 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 no, there's some really really great artists um, also taking this course, and people who are at our level and people who are at every level. It's really cool to see so many people like learning all together. Yeah, I, I really like that as well. I've seen a, a few images down in the assignment comments. I've also seen some people share their art online with the hashtag Drawbly, and I'm yeah. like, what's up? Let's, yeah. let's do it. Let's do the dang thing together. Community and accountability are so powerful. They really are. And one nice thing too about the forum, specifically like drawing the same thing, the same reference as other people, is you are allowed to let it awaken that little competitive nugget in your brain. Ooh. You're allowed to let that happen. You're allowed to say, Ooh, Do we get competitive? Maybe I like better. Do we get competitive yeah. on Drawbly? With each other? Yeah, I don't think so. No, I think we get um, anxious and insecure when the other person has clearly been practicing more that week. And you're like, at least this is me in my head. I'm like, oh no, I'm falling behind. Yes, every time. We kind of stay at the same level basically with our art throughout Drawbly. I feel like we've kind of progressed oh, you at think, similar oh, speeds. Oh, you think we're at the same level? <laughs> oh. No, Abby, you're, you're much further. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Um, but what was I saying? But it can be fun to see other people's work and think, well, I, can, I bet I could get to that level, you know, and where I would I normally bet one, have... one day, one month, one year. Yeah, and when I would normally have stopped on a piece, maybe I'd push it just a little farther mm. because of that. Not on this piece and not on the next piece, because I actually, with these two, I did not go on the forum and look at other people's works. I wasn't going to put that pressure on myself. Um, but later on, I think I... Let's, let's take it a step back. Tell me what makes Alla Prima different from just oh, painting yeah. a portrait. Oh yeah, we haven't even explained Alla Prima. Well, for those oh, of you I mean, who... First of all, it's not an Italian thing. 
<laughs> I don't know how to say a la prima with a French accent, but... A la prima. That still sounded Italian. You're even doing Italian hand gestures. Yeah, I yeah. can't help it. I'm in, I have an Italian last name. Yeah, well, I'm about to have that Italian last name. You don't see me doing the hand gestures. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> Oh, the second portrait. The second portrait. Allo prima is where there's not really a reference sketch, or there's not an allo uh, reference sketch. It's paint applied directly to the canvas. And Start with paint. You create the shapes that you see okay. with color. Uh, it's very much a sculpting with color mindset, is how I've heard it described. So why are you painting on your reference image there? What's the point of that? Oh, to discover the shapes themselves, um, to help me identify the and, shapes. And check your, check to see if your colors are accurate. I don't know if I did that here in this one, but sometimes I've done that too, where I've like really like pushed and tried to pick the color in the reference image. You can use the color picker, absolutely no problem. But it, I think Elman Alduri says it's a good practice to try to like get to that color get on your better, own. Yeah, get better at eyeballing mm -hmm. uh, the correct hue, value, saturation. Yeah, because if you ever want to like create your own palette or draw more from imagination, you won't have a reference to just pick the colors from necessarily. So might as well work on that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so I'm applying the paint directly to the canvas, starting really big and working my way down. Big brush. Which is hard for me, you know me. I usually work like um, a printer and I start at <laughs> one end and I go down and I refine and refine and refine as I go. Tis true. Which is a legitimate tactic. Uh, some artists employ that exclusively. Qu question mark. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's funny is that I work in the complete opposite way of big picture first, yet I still found this unbelievably hard. Yeah. And oh. different from how I normally work. It was hard. <laughs> Those beautiful clown eyes, so sad. I know. Well... <laughs> I love how when something starts, it looks so so alien and silly. I always mm -hmm. talk about that in my sculpting because sculpting's so slow. It's like, oh, it's going to look weird for a long time. Get used to it. And then it's like magic. You turn around and you're like, wow, cool. that looks amazing. Uh, I did like how this turned out too. I think it turned out really nice. So, for my second ever attempt at Alla Prima. Yes, this was, I think, out of my initial Alla Prima attempts, probably my, my best as well. Um, something that I've been thinking about a lot lately is the references that I choose, or the subjects mm. I choose to paint, mm -hmm. because I definitely notice a really big difference between just being handed a reference or just kind of willy-nilly picking something or seeing an image where I'm just like, oh, I have to paint that. Mm -hmm. Like the difference in the finished product is huge. Yeah. And that's something that I need to, or want to start thinking about a lot more. I've definitely encountered that. Um, I think I even talked about it once on Drawbly and I remember just getting discouraged with some pieces that I was trying to create. And my takeaway ended up being like, I need to be choosier about what I choose to draw. Choosier what you chooses. Yeah, because I was mm. getting like disinterested or I was biting off at that time a lot more than I could chew, you know, because I just also didn't know like what was actually hard or easy, which is advice you hear a lot in the beginning, like keep it simple. But in the beginning, you don't know enough to know what simple really is and what's too complex and what's not too complex. You might think, oh. It turns out it's all too complex. Yeah, I know. Weird. I know. Like the time I drew my AirPod case over and over and over and over and I was like, this is the level I was supposed <laughs> to be working at. And cube. <laughs> <laughs> Soft cube. <laughs> yes. And I learned a lot. It was a great study. So I recommend that. <laughs> what a... Uh... I, so Alaprima, the whole point is to like get stuff down quick, right? It, it's kind of like a speed painting technique. I don't know if that is the whole point. I, maybe it's just like one style. I, I, I don't know what the point is, if it has a specific point. Maybe that's part of it. I, I think the general objective of Alaprima is... So what does Alaprima translate to exactly? It, it's like... Is it wet paint or something like that? You'd think we would have actually like looked this up before we started this video. Where <laughs> no, we're no, no, no. We're not here to transfer knowledge. We're here to uh, <laughs> sound like fools. <laughs> we aren't here to transfer knowledge, though. No, if you're coming here for tutorials and education, <laughs> we got some. I mean, good sad point. Notes if you, you are here for the first time, Ben and I are documenting our art. Wet, wet on wet is what Ala Prima is. Oh. So I, I was close with wet paint. Yeah, but it's quick. 
yeah, the, the point is to paint before it dries. So you're not supposed to focus on details, you're just supposed to focus on these big brush strokes, these, these big swaths of, of color value mm -hmm. hue. Um, and that is what helps you get to a really good place where you can paint faster in the future. Yeah, I mean, and you can bring certain areas to a nice refined bit of detail if you want to. If you want. I don't think it's necessarily not focused on detail. It's just, it takes a while to get there. Well, your it's paint's drying. You, you gotta hurry up and finish your, your painting. Use oil paints, I'll never dry. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to hurry up and click that subscribe button if you're new around here. And comment below with ideas of what we can do to improve as artists and correct any false information we inadvertently supply. Or vertently supply. <laughs> supply. You know, sometimes we just lie to you because we're like, maybe they won't know. Maybe we can trick them. Anyway, also share some art online with the hashtag Drawbly. And this is the part where we say <gasps> goodbye. Goomba. Wet on wet. This old lady, she has a banjo, or wet maybe... Wet on wet. I is don't... this part of the song? No, it's not. That sounds How, why really at the weird. end? Why at the end does it always devolve into you singing a song that I've never heard in my entire life? Because I make up the song. Oh, what? It's improv singing. Boy. Boy.